I'm sweating. <laughs> we just brought all the stuff from my mom's car, my dad's car, and my grandma and grandpa's truck into the cabin. I'm having a moment. Hello, everybody. As you can tell, we're in a different location. Context clues cabin. We're on family vacation. We are at Indiana Beach Boardwalk Resort. We come here every single year. I've come here pretty much every single year of my life. My family has been coming here for like 60 years straight. It's a family tradition. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen past Indiana Beach vlog. Here we are, 2024. Woo! We're back. <laughs> this morning, the drive here, honestly chaotic. My bad. It was my bad vlogging. Let me give you a little rundown on everything that has happened so far today. Woke up, not bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I did not sleep well last night. But we woke up and we got ready to go. Then we had our drive here. It's about a three hour drive. We drove here, we had some scenery. It's a great little drive. I curated a fun playlist for me and my mom to jam to. <laughs> We have three stops that we make our way here. One is just to a gas station. That's kind of where we meet up with my grandparents. I didn't vlog anything there. Second is McDonald's. I'll roll the clip. We have made it to our one stop before we go to Monticello, which is McDonald's. We always stop at this McDonald's every single year. It's time for lunch. If you've seen the Indiana Beach vlogs before, you already know the drill. But for the new people, we have lots of new people. I have to explain. So we're at McDonald's for lunch. We ate lunch and we got back on the road. And our third stop that we always make is Walmart. I did not really get any footage at Walmart. Nothing very exciting there. Getting groceries. Pulling up to Indiana Beach is always fun because you pull up and you see the water and you see all the signs and you see the roller coasters and it's just an exciting moment. We finally got here, we checked in, and we just brought everything in. And now I'm exhausted. Ready to make your bed? I got interrupted by bed banking and puppies, but the point is, we're here, we're settling in, and then we're gonna go venture on the boardwalk. Ooh. <laughs> we are currently on our way to the boardwalk to renew our season passes and get dinner. It is 5.34. We have Beach Bucks cards from numerous years and we need to see how much is on them. Quite a profit, right? $12.75. Good morning. It is Monday morning and it's cloudy, which is not the greatest, but you know, it's okay. It is currently 8.42. I am going to get dressed super quickly. Today is a big, well, it's not a huge day. Today I have a job interview. I have two job interviews this week. In today's job interview, I really don't want the job, so... time to go to the pool. Let me give you a quick uh, T D. Same overalls that I always wear. This swimsuit I believe is also from Shane. I just deeply apologize. I know Shane's not good, but ball on a budget. I don't know what else to tell you. Target sandals. A lot later. It is currently 4.08. Since last time I actually talked to you, we had our morning pool time, I had my job interview, we ate lunch, and then we went back to the pool for a little bit. So we've done a lot. Now we're back. It's shower time. My mom is taking a shower right now, which is good because I'm sweaty and disgusting. My job interview went well. This was the one that I didn't care about as much. They offered me the job and I told them that I would think on it and get back to them. 
Okay, I am all ready for the boardwalk. We've had dinner, showered, I'm feeling clean and moisturized and nice. Because, don't get me wrong, I love the pool, but I hate the dry after pool feeling. Like, it just... Let me give you a quick OOTD. Shirt, it's from the United States Air Force. Shorts are actually from my college. They're Illinois State shorts. White Nike tennis shoes, and that's the whole outfit. The way today was laid out is pretty much how every single day is gonna lay out, besides a couple, couple days. A couple days, maybe I'll go out, do something about myself. Here, well here I stand, with roses in my hand. Like planting seeds in desert sands. This power just went out and a generator kicked on. It's not even that windy. It's not even storming yet. I take that back. It just started raining. <gasps> Look. <gasps> what on earth? Now there are sirens going off. Hey guys, are there sirens? Yep. There's a terminal warning that is north of us. A little bit. I don't think it's coming this way. I kind of have PTSD from the last one. The last tornado thing, because last year a tornado hit our house. It just makes me all nervous. Well, just. Swim my little heart out and now we're going to lunch. I don't know if we're doing this or the water park after lunch Hey guys, I'm getting ready for the boardwalk tonight, but I wanted to update you. I don't even know what time it is I don't know where my phone is. We did some swimming this morning as you saw and then we had some lunch I went back to the pool for a little bit But then my family wanted to go out and have some fun today is my dad's last full day He's leaving tomorrow after lunch. We just went out on the boardwalk and did some stuff I didn't take my camera because I was just enjoying the family time. My little cousins and my uncle have arrived. Good time just getting ready for dinner. I wrote down kind of my thoughts and ideas for the job interview that I have tomorrow and tomorrow's is the one that really counts. and talk to you guys a little bit before that. Hopefully tomorrow we go to the water park though, so I will definitely take you guys along. Let me give you a quick rundown on the day because I, <laughs> the day of the interview, I woke up, I got up, I immediately just got ready. The actual interview itself was stressful in the standpoint of the Wi-Fi was not working very well and I kept moving to figure out the Wi-Fi and everywhere I moved, someone was mowing the yard around me and so it was just loud and overstimulating and just a lot. And then after the interview, I just did not feel good about it whatsoever i did not think i did good at all and i was disappointed in myself and just kind of freaking out because i really wanted this job i was just not in a good headspace and then i decided to work all day super hard to create a portfolio that i could send over to maybe try to win myself over a little bit more and where i lacked in the interview and so that's what i did all day so i was just not in a great mood and i didn't really film much because i wasn't in a great mood i was not feeling good about myself whatsoever i did film a little bit of ride time that night and it was also firework night there you have it Oh, down my arms. 
So I just took a Zyrtec. I'm gonna shower and hopefully it will go away. I am all showered. My arms are looking a lot better. It was on my arms, my chest, and then I also found spots on my thighs. So I found something online. It definitely was a sunscreen because I guess sometimes sunscreen can have soy. That is the first time I'd used that brand of sunscreen this season because I was using another one if I was putting it on at all, which is actually very bad. But um, I took a Zyrtec it's going down a little bit. I also put Benadryl spray on. My arms are very sticky and I'm not loving it, but I did put it on. It's time to go ride some rides. So it's time to go ride some rides. I don't want to bring my camera, so I, I vlog it on my phone. <laughs> Older siblings versus younger siblings. We're gonna shoot and then we'll add up our scores at the end. We're gonna win. My gun sucks. I just got a very, very exciting email. No one knows, so you guys are the first people I'm gonna tell because I credit a lot of this to you guys and to my channel and just how hard I've worked. And I, I'm just on cloud nine right now. I got the job, the big interview that I was super nervous about and I felt like I did horrible in. I just got an email, I got the job. I can now kind of officially tell you what I interviewed for. You are officially looking at the new videographer for the University of Housing Services at Illinois State University. I'm going to be working for housing services as a videographer, I'll be videoing, editing, doing stuff with social media and with reels and just what I love. I'm just so proud of myself because I worked so incredibly hard. I mean, my whole life, but especially this past year. And I've had to make sacrifices and put work over fun a lot, but it has paid off. We're celebrating and we're having fun and we're enjoying life. Currently heading out to the boardwalk. I'm gonna get a celebratory at lunch. I'm gonna get some pronto pup. And also, I really hope mom doesn't watch this before Christmas. I'm getting mom a Christmas gift. My dad mentioned it earlier this week. There's like a Christmas ornament that mom would like. And he said, you should come back and get it for her. So that's what I'm doing. This is gonna be a true test of my filming skills and filming anxiety because there is a lot of people here today. It's very busy. I'm gonna do my best. Here she is. That's what my dad saw. I believe that's a lot. One for her. How much are they? Oh, they're only $27. Okay. Could I just get an order of popcorn chicken with a side of ranch and a large Pepsi? It's very loud. I apologize. But bag has been secured. We got our ornament. And I'm gonna munch down on my lunch. I got jumbo popcorn chicken with ranch. That's what I get every time I'm here. And then a place of Pepsi. Today we celebrate my hard work and dedication to what I do. Sometimes being a workaholic and I mean just working all the time is exhausting. It can be sad when you feel lonely or you have to choose work over you know having fun. It pays off in the end because I am one step closer to my goal or my end goal, which I mean is ultimately Disney. Cheers to that. Okay y'all, I'm gonna end the video on that happy note. That was Friday, our last full day was Saturday, but I really didn't get tons of content and Indiana Beach, it's literally the same thing every day, so it gets repetitive. You guys get the point, you guys have seen everything. And the last couple days, I just really soaked up the family time. With that being said, I'm gonna end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. I post every Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Time, so stay tuned every Sunday for new videos from me. Make sure to follow my social media. It is 
always linked down below. I have Instagram and TikTok. My short form content is always on point, if I do say so myself. And you can get updated or a better look into my life. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, but there is one more thing that I think you guys should see from this trip. This was Saturday night and the perfect way to end the trip. <laughs> She just peed her pants. She was laughing so hard. And now she's rinsing her feet off and peeing. And I'm like, yeah, I can't tell. It's all right here. Oh my gosh, Skylar. Around Sandra. Do they reverse? On the floor. I drink a lot of water. Goes along with this shit. Oh yeah, no one on here. Thank you.